Welcome back to Professor Layton and the Last Spectre, or the as the UK likes to call it, the Spectre's Call. The story so far. This music is beautiful. After receiving a cryptic letter from an old friend, the professor leaves for the town of Miss Fowlery. Indeed. That reminds me, Pedro, do you want to voice Inspector Groski? Oh, please. Please let me voice Inspector Groski. Yes. He's all yours. Thank you. I figured since I'm going to be voicing the, um, the prequel trilogy's main villain Story so far, I picked up a, I picked up a pretty scary, um, Professor, remember, stalker. remember, Professor, don't try and predict the future. Phoenix Wright's better at that. <laughs> but, but she comes off as a stalker, she knows everything about me, she even knows where I live. Professor, leave it to Phoenix Wright. I don't okay. quite know that much. I need a restraining Chapter order. Chapter 1, The Fog and Miss Fallery. Anyway, Here we are, in our town for this game. Alright. Uh, so you... this is mistletoe, mistletoe then. Mistle, mist Hallery is known for its thick mist fog. So we're in Persona 4 already. You see, you see its name, <laughs> Mist. It's said that when the town is shrouded in mist, it's like something out of a fairy tale. Oh, and people die. <laughs> oh, no way, that's not funny, sorry. Well, to be fair, Layton does have a deadpan sense of humor. It's not like, like any fairy tale I've ever read. No, sorry, sorry, I read your line. Sorry. Mm. How dare you? I said right. I'm sorry. All right, for now on, it's easier. If you don't behave, I'll have to introduce you to this German friend of mine. Oh boy. I said I'm sorry. <laughs> Touch oh. anything ah. interesting? It's just an old wooden crate. Hey, Professor, maybe hey, this professor. can... This can do some... Okay, maybe, maybe, maybe I should do it. Hold on. I should just... Okay, you do this kind of stuff. Yeah, sure. Wait. I must remember to oh, change the oil in the scooter sometime. Um, what the hell's going on with your voice, Semi? Basically, Professor, apparently your assistant, when we're actually doing the Ace right. Attorney investigation-style stuff, is gonna be voiced by, an, uh, by a Portuguese. Yes, it appears that several canals flow through the town into the river here. I needed an in-game stunt... an in-game stunt double, you see. Ah, fine. <laughs> and I'm not even being paid, Professor, so please, have a little <laughs> Of course you're so being paid. There's him. no danger of a drought yet. What's once that again, on top of the hill? So once again, Pedro like finds himself playing a female assistant. Mm -hmm. Of course you're getting paid. I'm paying you whatever's left of my dinner. And I'm guessing that you're also going to be voicing the female assistant of the games. That's all I ask. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Perhaps. It seems a bit forbidding for Clark's taste, but one never knows. <laughs> See, look, my eyes are flickering. That means something. Oh, yeah, that's right. Um, you're going to actually see a lot of updated sprite usage yeah. here. Yeah, by the time they got to Spectre's Call, which was the last play in the DS game, they were pretty much pull pushing the DS to its very limits. Yeah. It's like their, their eyes and mouths, like they didn't really move. Yeah. Oh, I guess I'll voice this guy. Why, hello, my friends! <laughs> Allow me to be the first to welcome you to Miss Fawry! <laughs> I am Eldest, Charmed, Nice Hat. What about Youngest? Where's he? Oldest? I love his hair. <laughs> I'll have you show. I'll have, I would like to show you a little something that the locals like to keep a secret. Come on, Elvis, get on with it. Please touch that wooden box with your stylus. But touch Ooh. it like you mean it. Not just once, and not just twice. <laughs> How many times? Uh, I, I Why are you breaking the fourth wall? This crate looks well sealed, but let's investigate further. Just leave it to me. I'll keep prodding it until it opens. <laughs> but uh, they gave it to me. Ah? Uh? You see, Professor, I told you your date would be better with Emmy around. Yes, beautiful! She signs like the sun. That, my friends, that is a hit coin. When you encounter a puzzle that you cannot solve, try using one of these lovelies. We well, know. Well, you cannot solve or whether you want your audience to be shown hints. But spend them wisely, for they are in limited supply. You know, even though the prequel trilogy came after the original trilogy, trilogy, it treats it as if this was the first game. Yeah, they treat. They, 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 well, yeah, they, 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 they're they're trying. The, you see, every, almost every single Latin game that's not Asrin Legacy is perfectly self-contained. It's a perfectly fine jumping point. So they try to make the games for like newcomer friendly, basically. This this oh, is okay. actually why I, uh, this is actually why I like playing the Latin games in chronological order. It's like I like. 
It's like, I, I like series that allow me to play a, a series in chronological order or watch it and that, not feel like, you know, it's, I don't know, iffy. Well, Jover, in that case, you're going from DS to 3DS to DS again. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, yeah, there's that, but hey, like I said, Lost definitely still friend. the fan favorite. Any so idea where Mr. Triton might live, Professor? My cardboard box, Sorry, hopefully. <laughs> It's okay. No, unfortunately, there was no return address on the letter, which means he's living Basically, in a box where he belongs. What I'm saying is that Unbound Future, or Lost Future, as the UK calls it, is such a great DS game that it still manages to be the absolute best latent game out of the series, so it feels just fine still coming back down to Good DS. Good Emmy. Let's, 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 let's quickly review yeah. how to move around town, then. Emmy, remember, first you put one foot in front of your other foot, <laughs> then you keep doing this, and then again, and then again. Professor, you're supposed to be giving a tutorial. Uh, it, no, it's I, walking. I, 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 I love how when Layton's splitting the tutorial, Emmy's taking notes. <laughs> <laughs> That's a nice touch. Hi, <laughs> Shua. Touch the shoe, pick a direction, touch the arrow, got it. Do you really need me to teach you how to bloody walk? <laughs> Why, yes, Professor. <laughs> Very good. Why don't you go ahead and give it a try? Let's I have to imitate your walk perfectly. Sorry, I had something on my uh, chip. The facial animation on Amy is fantastic. Like, uh, okay. Emmy, not Amy. Amy. I said Emmy. Who's Amy? He did say Emmy. <laughs> oh. Thank you, Shiro. <laughs> anyway, yeah. You got a hit coin. You got a hit coin. Yeah, you better keep that yes, noise I, out of here. This is quite a hazy town. It's exactly pit. the way I imagined Miss Tallery. Miss Tallery, or whatever the hell you pronounce it. Fine, it's your stuff in like the pog in London, is it? I think Miss Tallery, Miss Tollery. Mm -hmm. Okay, now, I'm not quite certain, but I figure that almost every area must initially have free hint coins, so I constantly search for them Some of them have, occasionally you'll find one that actually has four, but yeah, it's a good idea to tap around in every area to find hit coins. Ah. Okay, then. Oh, before I forget, Professor, I think we ought to make notes during our investigation. Huh. It's actually a good idea. An excellent suggestion, Emmy. Organized records are vital to an effective investigation, but why am I carrying a heavy trunk with me? Everywhere because, Professor, you can apparently fit that trunk into your pocket. Well then, touch the trunk icon located in the top right corner of the touch screen, and don't make me carry it around, please. It's fucking heavy. Professor, how do you know what a touch screen is? This will open the trunk. Shut up. Where you can access <laughs> several useful options by touching their icons. Please do not interrupt me while I'm talking. Do you understand? Wow, it, it, this is how it is in um in um this is the Mario and piece. Luigi. Touch this yeah. option to save your progress. That's exactly how adventure. this works. <laughs> Yeah. Alright. This, is the puzzle. I'll say I'm sorry. this option allows you to review puzzles you found during the adventure. Now you may talk. Basically, I have to say, I'm a guy who generally doesn't really like prequels. I mean, like, well, even when they're good, I kind of don't really like people who go backwards instead of forwards. Oh. Professor Layden managed to pull off the spectacular thing of making a prequel so good, so great, that, well... I'm actually fine that it came out after it. Heck, I actually kind of like it better than some of the original trilogies. In order to have another go at a puzzle, however, you'll need to return to its location. This is the journal. Touch the journal to review the events of the story. But it's my journal, so don't touch it. Oh, and this is a new feature. The episode Lastly, this option. is the episodes option. Touch episodes to view additional parts of the story. You know, like Final Fantasy XIII and the done better. No, no, except, except, <laughs> except we actually see it in cutscene form rather than reading text. Be sure to tag often so that you can view any new episodes. Hell, there's only, there's even one episode that is that has animated cutscenes. Yes, optional animated cutscenes in the optional stuff. So, Well, with all of this to keep track of, I'm certainly going to end my keep as a research assistant. I think part of the reason why I really like this as a prequel is that the way it's written feels like it actually works as a game that could be played the absolute first. Yeah. Yes. As in, like, well, it actually feels like the pinnacle beginner. It feels even more like a, it feels like even more of a starter than Curious Village did, which, in my opinion, is actually, is actually a pretty good achievement. Most people can't really pull that off with prequels, but level five, of course, can. Rich quarter. Yeah. 
Oh, okay, I forgot, okay. To re I forgot to read that one. Okay. Anyway, uh, end coin. I forgive you yes, because I all may the stuff you stuff usually, one just usually when I Usually when I record late in games, I tend to skip the parts where I'm looking for hit coins for the sake of getting the playthrough going. But, uh... Yeah, I think I need to show some of the exploration as well, since there's a bit of dialogue to I be I mean, had it's there. not like he's gonna show all of it off, I mean... Sure, sure. I I'm just saying. <clears throat> oh, what do we have here? It's basically... It's basically like, well, the it first time I ever to it, I'll do a quick scan for hint coins and hidden puzzles, and then basically whenever I come back to that, uh, you don't have to worry about me searching again. Oh, 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 oh. Never seen you here before, Gramps. Did you come here to see the sights? How'd you get into town? Huh. Sorry. But, but, Gramps? The professor doesn't look that old. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 20, I'm 32. 44. Ahem. My age aside, thank you. We're looking for the Triton residence. Would you happen to know where it is? Hide the eggs. <laughs> the what now? Hide the eggs. Oh boy. <laughs> Why should I tell you? I'm not saying a word unless you can solve my puzzle. Well, uh, what's a little brat? Uh, look, I've got a l young Lex Luthor on my hands. If you want to <laughs> find your friend, solve my maze. You know, Pedros, uh, since we've seen how Phoenix would react to all these puzzles in the crossover, I wonder how Edgeworth and Francisca would react. Um, well, there's the uh, there, well, there is an episode, uh, an, ep true, true, an, an additional true. episode in the crossover for that. Well, not for Francisca. Oh, Francisca. Oh, okay, yeah. These were okay. So basically, the, uh, Jova, explain the puzzle, please. Yes, this is a puzzle where you have to figure out which of these three are actual residents, and which of them is the tourist. This is one of the ones where I actually show off the hint coins, and they'll go back and forth between that. There's one common detail that links the three pictures taken by the group of tourists. Compare them and figure it out. So yeah, I'm then flipping back. Think you guys can figure out which one's the different one? Well, I would if you could let me see them. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll flip back and forth between the hints and this. Basically, the three photos have all been taken around at the same time. What detail shows the time they were there? Now think, it's a matter of time. Well, I need to see that. Okay, let's take a look. Notice something different about them that's time-based. The free tourists took turns talking each other's photos. It follows that their photos would have all been... Oh. Uh, we already read that hint. Oh, sorry. My... I can't do Oh, there we go. Notice the Okay. You're, You're not being is... distracted by the animals, are you? Neither the dog nor the bird are clues. Indeed. Now, so that's when you use the memo over there is the super hint type. See? Yeah. Now, when do you use the memo function to show you? But uh, A, B, and D. Basically, ladies and gentlemen. Oh. Nice job, Webs. Yeah, but because that that guy's the guy's balance in C is like he was looking it's like he was looking for something. Whereas the other three seems perfectly, um, fine. Yeah. You see, it, it, that's not exactly the way you're supposed to figure it out, but yeah, that is sort of related to it. Should I tell him how we solve it, or should I wait till, go, you know... Go ahead and say it, might as well. Basically, the thing is, like, well, it has to do with time. Notice the shadows. Basically, with A, B, and D, their shadows are circular, which suggests that they were taken at noon. This guy's shadow, though, is slanted, which seems to suggest that his was taken past noon. Hence the PM there. What's a DM? There you go. <laughs> <laughs> good, good, good job, Pastrova. <laughs> <laughs> yep. What about the super hint? Some puzzles must be missed. Uh, uh, might as well take advantage of this to explain. Uh, Java, would you please explain the super no hint? Puzzle is without an it's ah, a, yes. It's, the it's a new super feature. Hint. So. The super hint is basically you pay two hint coins and it pretty much is the answer right there and then. I'm not quite sure if I'll actually show off the super hint. I may show it off for one puzzle, but I'm trying to decide you which do it one. At least should... once, just to just give him the idea of yeah, how the, the super hint actually how did not telling you, oh, stupid! It's That's this amazing. one. I know, I know. Yeah, I just don't. I, I don't really like you. the idea of using the super <laughs> hint. I know. But but yes, it's like a commentary. I, I, it might be a good thing. You see, Shirai, for people like me and Jova who actually do want to to earn our puzzle, well, using the super hint is kind of an admission of defeat. <laughs> then why don't you yeah, use it in the next video? Find the Triton <laughs> solved your puzzle, so we can. Hey, Jova. Um, so we can say hello. 
Go okay, ahead. Pagers. I'm a Professor Layton fan. Um, do you think there might be a puzzle that actually might feel more gracious in using the super hint? Because, like you no, said, no, no, I... no, 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 not every single super hint is flat out literally. You know, hey, okay, you moron. Here's the answer. And like, uh, <laughs> there, there are I some. The, 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 even the super hint doesn't flat out. You know, insult your intelligence. But look, it's this. It gives you basically the strongest hint possible you can get. Like, any closer and they'll just be giving you the answer. Why would you have need to evacuate? The Oracle said we won't- Oh god, the Matrix. We won't be safe there <laughs> and had to leave at once. Don't worry, Paige. And then she got taken worry, over by this man named Agent Smith. Don't worry, Dwibs. This is like the Matrix, but done a lot better with the Oracle. No, the Oracle thing doesn't even Oracle? factor all that much into the Who's story. That? It kind of does factor a, a bit, quite a bit True. into the story, I don't especially know. if it comes My back. My mom said if it weren't for the Oracle, a lot of especially people would considering been who the Oracle is. I, I saw this guy named Neo, and I told him to ignore the spoon. Oh. <laughs> for some advice? reason, I had no hair. Well, yeah, he did, actually. Intriguing. Whoa. <laughs> anyway, I might as well take advantage to say one thing. The Super Hint act feature actually did not uh, premiere in this game. It actually appeared first on the Lost Future before it came in. Uh, basically, by the point that we got to the Spectre's Call, the gameplay of Layton was perfectly refined by this point. They, like, they, the, the, all the puzzles, uh, most, all the puzzles except for the optional ones, uh, basically all the obligatory puzzles you need to solve to, to finish the story are all story based at this point. It's still too early to say, perhaps um, we skip to lot, the giant lot future for now for reasons, but we'll leave oh, those we're, for we now. We already explained that at the end we're, of our Pandora's box briefly. Yeah, it's the same reason oh, why yes, we're doing yes, Apollo we Justice before Trials and Tribulations. Oh, doing... <laughs> oh, where am I? What time is it? Oh no, I'm late! <laughs> oh, Chip. Oh, this guy. Or should I say, guys? Again. I'm scuppered. <laughs> I'm scuppered! Is this how, is this, is this how English, uh, uh, po police at England works? They're, they're, always, they're all very, you know, sleep on the job. Wait, kind how of long guys? did you two been there? <laughs> <laughs> um... <laughs> I'll take that as a yes. <laughs> <laughs> they don't sleep on the job. <laughs> but, Did I say anything while I was napping? No, don't answer that. You're not very good at keeping <laughs> records, shall we say. I trust you'll uh, keep this whole affair to yourselves? Maybe. That depends on how many pickerets you have. This hall is close to visitors. Usually I tell you to clear off. If you promise not to say anything about this to the chief, I might be able to let you through. Ah, the chief. We'll Wait till to, we meet the chief. We'll get to the chief eventually. Let's just say the chief is possibly the very antithesis of what level five would have you believe a British man Rest is like. Our lips are sealed, officer. You don't have to worry about us. Call the media. We'll have a, we'll have a right scoop on this person. <laughs> ah, whoo, thank you, sir. What a gentleman. Uh, yes, um, hello, magazine. Um, this officer is shirking his duties. You know, guys, this can actually work out. You see, this could be the explanation as to where Leighton got his catchphrase about a true gentleman from a random police officer on the side. Also explains my apparent dickery in the later game. Oh, I love this puzzle uh, right here. Uh, this is a this, ah, is a this is a new kind of puzzle uh, in the Leighton series, which is this puzzles where the characters are actually talking as they solve the puzzle. But we'll see. Professor, there are two bridges here, but one of them is roped off. I can see that. And it seems that the other bridge will take us quite out of our way. Unless we take a shortcut, or just swim to the this other side. Shortcut. The ropes are all tied up in these ridiculous knots. I wouldn't even know where to start untying them. Emmy, jump into the lake and swim across. <laughs> she could do that, but that would be a waste. How about we slice through them all and make our way over the bridge? Yes, I Emmy, mean, get the sword. sword! Get the sword! Well, I suppose one could go to the trouble of cutting them all, or for some uh, organic reason. Well, to be fair, in Miracle Mask, it wouldn't. It is explained why it wouldn't for be a shock to see reason, I'm going to sit there like a child untying Christmas lights. Undoing the rope isn't as arduous a task as it first appears. Have a closer look at me. Emmy, go get the sword, quickly, before the producers make me do another puzzle. <laughs> in order to clear all the rope, one would need only to cut it in one place, even though it's... The director told me to stay here, Professor. No can do. True, I did tell her that. I'm done with one cut. Who hired you? 
That's right. Hey. Have another look and tell me where you think we should cut it. Actually, like, future self hired me. All right. Don't worry, though. You can take happen. it up with him in Lost Future. All right. Oh, I'll get my own back on him. Don't worry. So basically, this is a basic. So basically, it's all about observ observing the ropes and how exactly cutting one part will undo everything. It's yeah, this is what shall we say semi puzzles, and that they don't go. They don't like bring up the whole puzzle number or whatnot yeah. or the whole puzzle music. And there we go. Puzzle solved. By cutting that, it, 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 and when you think about it, actually, it's pretty much uh, very easy to figure out. Yeah. All you have to do is essentially follow the line. Correct. Cutting that one spot will unravel the barrier entirely. Or couldn't we just climb over it? Ah, but oh. Ribs, that wouldn't be a gentleman thing to do. But just a, yes, I no. think I'm starting to get the hang of being your assistant. It's the logical thing to do. You're doing a wonderful job thus far, and me, for that, I am. I apologize for calling you a stalker. <laughs> Alright, so... Thank you very much, Professor. Who do you think is responsible for this? Knowing, uh, uh Luke, uh, I mean, uh, well, there's no sign of the bridge being closed. I suspect it's the work of some local mischief maker. Okay, okay, cut, cut. Look, wait, we know <laughs> that you have qualms with the child, but please... Be aware that you're actually going to have cute and cuddly bonding time with the kid in this game, especially. So all right, all right, all right. I'll do it uh, now. Let me let me get to my trailer. I need to smoke some weed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my god! god. Back right. to ruining Layton. <laughs> uh, Mr. Hino, in the name of my entire group, I apologize. I apologize. I apologize too. too. Do you have a fear of bridges? <laughs> and the only one who does apologize is the sorry. one for me. <laughs> No, just this one. Okay, <laughs> um, I'll look around that. But you can't even drive over this bridge. How did we... How do the townspeople get around? They swim there, like all sensible people would do in this situation. Or cut through it, or climb over the rope. There must hmm. be another route into the town for vehicles. If only we'd known about that, then we would have saved some time. But it oh, would. But, but taking the bridge would save us from getting run over by a car. True. Well, we can keep lookout, can't we? Okay. Of course. Of course. Well, I can move your car for you later, Professor. Don't touch my car. It happened to. Okay. No, no, Debbie. I'm sure it will be fine. Let's I'll look go after ahead and make it. our way across. No. Come you on, did. Professor. I'm not going to leave you here, uh, I promise. Nobody touches the Leighton Mobile. <laughs> no. I said, no one touch it. It's called the Leighton Mobile, not the Emmy Mobile. <clears throat> oh, that mouse yeah. right there. That mouse right there that just ran by. Let, let's just say he's part of a side quest. Yeah. Oh. I, don't know, I don't know if Jobo chose it here, but uh, I, I just wanted to point that out. What about people no, who I are didn't. scared of heights? How did they get in? Um, the sign says, mark it this way. You know, Aha! Can, this wood is all rotten. I can make out what it says. Well, consider it a testament to the bridge's long history. It really is quite a long drop from here, isn't it? You could say, I mean, that it's a bridge to turnabout. By the way, by, by the way, by the way uh, one thing I don't think we ever brought up in these in these games is that uh, notice in the, in the in the top screen at the bottom left corner, I love the 8-bit sprites uh, of of, uh, of the characters. Oh uh, yeah. It, it, it throws you back to the times of Pokemon in that regard. There appears to be a bridge leading off in that direction as well. Should we head down that way? Hmm, script. According to the sign, it's the way to the market. Let's find Clark first. We can have a look later. It's Who's so fitting, considering as how Clark is part of my name. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, That's yeah, yeah. Clark's house. Yeah, pretty much by this point, level 5 has pretty much mastered the art of spri- Ooh. Ooh. Oh dear. Professor, what's happened here? This house has been completely destroyed. Um, uh, uh, hide the matches quickly. Um, uh- It um, wasn't burnt, it was smashed. And the road seems rather torn up as well. Hide the baseball bat and the ball what? dancer keys. Professor, how could you demolish an entire house and a road a baseball bat? 
Please. I came here yesterday. He I was guess drunk. this is. I the guess this got is drunk. way of getting work. <laughs> I, how I, do you <laughs> destroy? How? Do, it, there's a giant crater. We mustn't overlook anything. Yeah. Um. Uh, don't look in that cupboard over there, please. <laughs> I'm taking pictures of everything. Oh shit! You brought your camera. <laughs> Why is that a problem, Professor? Um. No reason. <laughs> Man, if this is a banter you can come up with this game, I can't wait to see what banter you're going to come up with in Apollo Justice. Still, this is quite a scene. I really hope no one was hurt. I really hope people were hurt. I mean, uh, uh, me too. Jesus. <laughs> now, no! let them, now let them just Professor, be an... Professor, are, are you alright? Layton's getting worse. He's just Now he's just being an asshole just for the sake of it. If this is indeed the work of some sort of giant, it seems that Miss Holdery may be in real danger from Professor. me. I mean, uh... uh. Ladies and Professor, gentlemen... Why you perhaps be bipolar? Ladies and gentlemen, okay. uh, ladies and gentlemen, the pro Professor Layton, the man who will go into the graveyard and stomp on people's skeletons <laughs> while he laughs. <laughs>, <laughs> <laughs> of course, I'm laughing right now. <laughs> There's a spot reserved for him in hell. He's a you great know, deal of force. Hold on. <laughs> not even a spot. He has a beach house in Yet I'm a college, and yet I'm a university professor, and you're not. Ha ha ha. That's a strange place for wooden box. It should be on the ground. Do you think someone left it here by mistake? Somebody left a marking there by mistake. <laughs> I can't imagine. Oh, but speaking of boxes, I have a puzzle you might like to try. That this reminds me of a puzzle. Is this quite the time for puzzles? Yes, it'll keep you distracted while I hide the evidence. I mean, um... Uh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> for something evidence. to do. Yeah, yeah, like, like a... Hiding evidence like of a, objection! Like I said earlier, by the time by the time Spectre's Call came about, they, they've pretty much mastered what, in terms of the, the way they organize the puzzle. This puzzle is completely optional. You don't have to solve it to move on with the game. Uh, but puzzle. when it comes now, to when it comes to the actual obligatory puzzles to... Get through the story. They're all story context-based, whatever. Hello, so. we have, you have been sent to collect one of the sixteen stacked boxes shown below. Unfortunately, the note describing the location of the box got smudged, and you can't read all of the conditions. Here's which you can make out: the color of the box on the right is question marks. The color of the box on the left is question marks. The color of the box above <laughs> is, is how question bloody box. helpful. It's the same color as the one below. It. Which box could satisfy all these conditions? Right. Right. Well, okay. I believe West this is one where I'll just be solely using the memo function. Uh, so let's see if you can figure it out before I did. Which, which one were the bulldozer keys? Um, uh, uh, here we are. And into the lake you go. There we go, see? Noticing something? The so basically, I connect all the ones that are the same color below it. You don't necessarily need... You, you only really need just this <laughs> one hint. Yeah. Maybe? Uh, this is a really easy puzzle. Um, <laughs> I know. Although it's one that could probably have you think... It could probably have one... Okay, it's basically one of those puzzles that can easily trick Emmy, you more complicated than it is. Emmy, don't dust for fingerprints. Basically, I'm just going to, you know, show off the whole thought pattern that, you know, would probably go into it, you know. This this, this looks like you're, you're doing it in front of a class, you know, like you're on your interactive whiteboard and you're, um... Right, they're doing it in diagram. Yeah, it's sort of like that. So, Shiroi, Dwibs, can you guys guess which box is the one? No, no, I was too busy keeping my um, head cannon story up. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe you guys could have a go. You've actually done pretty good so far, mm -hmm. Dwibs, on guessing these puzzles. All right. Um... Basically, basically, all you have to realize is that the box is the one that has the same color as the one below it. So it's really easy. So it's basically just a matter of uh, comparing each box to the one that's right above, uh, that's right uh, below it, and then using the other criteria to your advantage. And uh, I give you a hint, but it would probably give it away. Well, spend a hint coin and give us a hint. Uh, well, okay, I'll give you this one hint. Notice how not all the boxes have, say, a box above or to the right or to the left of them. Yep. That's this one. I think I've got this one. Nice. You can't let a puzzle intimidate you. See? No, but you can let me intimidate you. <laughs> Jesus, Professor. All right, I get. All right, I get. All right. Um, I guess it's it's me and you right now, Dwebs. 
Okay. I've... Good work, okay, Abby. You, can you made it look positively easy. Shocking, <laughs> right? That's because it was, Professor. Give me more of a challenge next time. All oh. right, I'll make you do a challenge of a gun pointed to your head. Ah, sure is BRB. <laughs> That's the spirit. Um, ignore this gun in my pocket. Um, it's only an illusion. What do you think of this, Emmy? This is a door. You mean that graffiti? What about it? Do you think it means something? Um, oh shit, they actually found out about my graffiti. Um, um, it means nothing. It means nothing. <laughs> Don't touch the witch's mark. Not unless no, you want I'm anything. I'm writing your fantasy on the wall. <laughs> You little shit, get back Sorry, here! Sorry, one moment, guys. <laughs> I got that reference. I got that reference. I had to. I had to. I had to say that. I, I'll be right back. <laughs> okay. Oh, I surprise myself sometimes. <laughs> little brat, make, you're making me wish for Luke right now. Oh man, I complained about the state of this dump before, but you look at it now. Maybe I can pin the... Basically, so but basically actually, 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 Joma, considering the nature of this character, sorry. I still think Dress should voice this character. I'm sorry, was this your house, sir? Uh... I mean, uh, well, you'll see in a moment. Well, I mean, I, I know what's gonna happen. You're I sorry? Really Imagine how I feel. <laughs> yeah, it would be house. Oh shit, he's onto me. Um, uh, quick, I'll, I'll pin it on him somehow. Um, uh, let me think, let me think. The operative word there being was. <laughs> That's right. He's he's apparently happy that his house got destroyed. The witch's mark appeared, and then the wingdies went smash. The walls went boom, and the house roof went help. You're personifying your own house being tormented, you know. By him, he did it. <laughs> bye bye, house. <laughs> Yeah, perfect. perfect. Okay, so, yeah. I don't have to call him Mouse anymore. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, yeah, Dweebs, you're pretty good as Brock. Oh my god, Brock! What are you doing here? Aren't you supposed to be in the, um, the Johto region? The what? No, unless you're in the market for some rubble oh, no. over your head. <laughs> actually, actually, my mistake. The Kanto region. Yeah, what are you doing out of the Kanto region? I said, fuck the Kanto region. At least now there's an all sorts of natural um, light. Is, it's really is, just terrible. Our <laughs> is really good, but is, is, he, um, is he having a breakdown? Uh, ba ba basically, ba basically, Shirai, this kid is fucking nuts. <laughs> That's okay. a kid. I don't quite understand how this is amusing. Well, right. kinda, well look at his size. It kind of right. looks like a kid. I Perhaps think. we could help him if we knew a bit more about weird this is... witch's mark. But what's weird is that later dialogue treats him like he's an adult, actually. Oh, Attention, really? by the way, people have been dressed so far in this town. It seems like a very, well, high end ish mm -hmm. area. Yeah. So. Yeah, it's, it's like, it, well, it, let's be fair. We've seen our fair share of very short gentlemen in the ace. I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean. I was just saying, like, it could explain why some of the children are dressed a bit mature for their age. Yeah. All right. If they are indeed oh, children. Oh, <laughs> being blown out and all, I can expect a good bit of air circulation in the summer. <laughs> I'm not exactly sure what his age is, but the dialogue seems to treat him like an adult, especially since apparently he owns his own house and, you know, apparently oh, lives... Well, well, as far, well, well, Jova, we don't know. As far as we know, maybe he's just a kid and that was his house, and maybe his parents even got killed, like... Oh, no, 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 no. Wow. It, oh, so we're suggesting wait. that his parents got killed wait, and all wait, he could do is laugh. That would be pretty dark. Pedro. Maybe it's a psychotic laugh. Pedro. Like, maybe... well, uh, are, you are you honestly <laughs> telling me I committed manslaughter? Yes, Professor. You may have done that. Oh no, I'm doomed. Um, Emmy did it. <laughs> no, no, no. Excuse professor, me? Professor, I've been here for like... Professor, you know what minutes? you do? Get a defense attorney. Um, no, no, Emmy has okay, a... Okay, uh, maybe no, a bit longer than four Emmy months. had a twin sister named Emmy. That's with Emmy in reverse, you see. And <laughs> she bulldozed everything and framed Emmy for the crime, and then she tried to pin the whole thing on me. But Professor, you need an attorney in court to actually be able to say Stuff that. Stop an attorney, I can be one myself. I'm smart, you know, I'm a professor. Well, ladies Actually, and gentlemen, that was kind of an interesting part. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that got kind of dark. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, see you in the next part. All right. See you then. That's my line. Oh, well, well said, man. Too bad.
<sighs> we'll see you in the next part.